guys, Topify here, and today I'm doing some news on the new Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC. It's just it's been announced. I am apologizing for I'm a few days late because I was busy, and this was supposed to be Monday's video, but I was busy on Monday, so this is being uploaded today. And then I'll be a second video, which will be today's video later on, which will possibly be a GTA 5 mod vehicle because you guys did seem to enjoy those. So I might bring those back. But there's still a few more to do before we get PC sorted, which will be very soon. So if that makes sense, that's what's happening later on so we have the new maps yeah of the new DLC pack awakening I do think they've used awakening before I can't remember but these are the new maps we have three multiplayer one zombies map and one free run a lot of people are saying so first map we have is Skyjacked and it looks very similar to Hijacked from Black Ops 2. And I really do like the look of this new map. So it might have a few Black Ops 2 easter eggs and it might be one of my favourites when it comes out. Second map is Rise and Rise looks similar to Hard Hat from Modern Warfare 3 or Infection I believe it was called which was like the demolished construction zone for Black Ops 2 both really cool maps if you haven't tried them out so it looks like it's a mix of those two and the only difference is it's got snow so it might have some Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 easter eggs on that map. Third map which is a new map. It's not been done in Call of Duty before. Because I've had a look at the cover maps. And there is a few maps that's been done before like Fun Ground and that. But we've not actually had an actual water park before. So this is going to be different and it might have some easter eggs on there. But seeing it's a new map, it might not have any easter eggs at all. We'll have to see on that one when it comes out. And yes, there is going to be easter egg videos on all three of them. As soon as they come out. Because as soon as they come out, I'll do an unlimited time walk around the map. So I can have a look and do a complete tutorial on each three maps. Then we have Gauntlet, which a lot of people are saying is a new free run course which I believe it's going to be a free run course just because it's three maps in one and seeing it's not like for free above it's very likely it might be three new free run courses I don't think it's going to be all three in one map it might be three new add-on free run courses at the look of it so the jungle one looks fun the icy one will be probably different and the industrial one probably be fairly standard it might be like fringe so I might not do that one very often if it is a multiplayer map because I'm not the biggest fan of fringe and then the last map which I believe is in German is a zombies map and it's Der Echter Daschen I don't know if I said that right, but I'm not going to say again. <laughs> it looks like it's a World War II style, like, fort prison that usually the Nazis used. So it's possibly going to have some really old, like, World of War Easter eggs and maybe some of the older Call of Duty. Easter eggs, it might even have some Easter eggs from my favourite World War 2 game, Medal of Honor European Assault, 
but that's very unlikely it's gonna have easter eggs from that and it might have some a doom one and two easter eggs maybe but very highly doubt it so that's my review and opinion on the new maps that's been announced I hope you guys enjoyed this quick news I don't normally do this kind of stuff on my channel but if you like news segments like this on Call of Duty I'll be sure than happy to do more and comment down below if you want to see a review of the chair I'm seeing in which is my new custom built gaming chair which hopefully will be a review for you guys very soon and it's very comfortable very cool plus it had surround it has surround sound was a voice crack so before we crack up again thank you guys for watching this is Topofire signing out <laughs>